Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Cunny Corso. Hey you baby girl, do you my sweet baby? Mwah. So I'm out here with uh, some of the babies. I've got Kona, I've got Kubrick, and um, we renamed her last night. Uh, Lilo just wasn't it for me. Um, so I renamed her Jolene. And um, I like it. And that way I can sing to her because y'all know I like to sing to my dogs. And I can sing Jolene, Jolene. Whoa, don't run into me, Jolene. Good girl, look at her come. Oh, wait, watch out. So this is her first time being out with Kubrick. Um, and he's thoroughly, sweet baby, trying to push his weight around. And she recently had a bath. So um, she's trying to get next to me. Your sweet baby. Your sweet baby. Oh, boo, boo, boo. <clears throat> All right. She is just steady leaning on me and getting me wet. All right, there we go again. Drive by wetness. Cooper, leave her alone so she'll quit running into me. Cooper, stop. Leave her alone. I don't want her getting me all wet. Stop it. Cooper. He's like, I gotta push my weight around somewhere. Yeah, we see you, dude. Kubrick is a whole eight months old, so. <clears throat> Still a baby. He's only two months older than this girl here. Jolene. There we go. That's what I want to see. Play with her. Don't scare her. Look at that beautiful girl. Sweet baby Kona. I got word from Kona's breeder that... Both of her sisters are in heat right now. I kind of had thought I had seen some swelling going on back there. And I asked him, I was like, is she in any way getting close? And he was like, yes, her sisters are in. Now, I will say that traveling overseas um, will mess with that stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if she's a little off, but we'll see. She may come right in. I don't know. <clears throat> My goodness, funny girl. Well, this is good. Getting all that energy out. I like that. Had to give her a bath because she had an accident in her kennel this morning. Which wasn't her fault. Savannah didn't take her out this morning like she was supposed to. Ooh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, she ain't no punk. I'll tell you what. She ain't no punk. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to get that stick. And not only am I going to get that stick, but but I'm going to I'm going to defend that stick. <laughs> Beautiful dog. I took her into Lowe's last night. Hey, Kubrick, don't you on the, the tip of it like that. Don't. You'll drop it and it'll hurt you. Put it down. Psst. Kubrick. Hey. Kubo. Hey. Kubo. Good boy. Don't don't run with the tip like that. It's dangerous. <clears throat> That's better. Kubo. I think he's doing that so that she can have a piece. Psh, he wants to basically tease her with it so that there's enough scene that she'll try to take it. Smart dog, but not the smartest way to run. It's like running with scissors. Kubrick, Psh, you're making me nervous. There we go. To get a girl. Pre Kubo, leave it alone. Kubo. There we go. There's enough of a shock. Get your foot off of it. Let go. Good boy. Let her have it. He's like, why, Mom? Why? Why should I just let her have it? Because she's a girl. That's why. And she's a baby. You let her have it. <laughs> oh, 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 he got it. He said, not fast enough. Not nimble enough. Oh, wait. Sh 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 sh. Running with the tip. Nah, I, I, 
And I'm pretty sure that you were the dog that did that the last time. I'm quite sure. She was running and... Here, this one's better. This one is longer. Doesn't have any pointy edges. What's this? What's this? What's this? Good girl. Get it. Good girl. Yeah, good girl, Kona. You, know, you and me, we're the adults. Oh, <laughs> we're the adults. You're so sweet, Kona. You're so sweet. You're so patient. You're such a good girl. You are. You're such a good girl. You are a good baby. Well, I think it broke. So, yeah, I've... I will introduce these guys to more of the pack, but um, they've went through, specifically her, she's kind of went through a lot, and I don't want to overwhelm her or set her up for failure. I really want her to be very confident in her home, confident in her, um, you know, in her staying here. Like yesterday, like I said, I took her to Lowe's, and whenever we went to get in the truck, she was very hesitant. And I almost did a video about it, but then I decided, eh, I'm going to really focus on her. But ultimately, she was putting the brakes on. She didn't want to get in the truck. And so I just lifted her up and I put her in there. And I will say, the truck is kind of scary. It's not, you know, I have quite a few of my dogs that don't necessarily enjoy the truck. Um, it's, it's a um, single cab and it doesn't have any tint. And for a dog, I think it kind of feels almost like a roller coaster ride. Because you can just see everything around you. Um, and it feels like you're just right next to the road. So I think that that can be a little overwhelming for the dogs in general. So, um, but once she was in, I just started it. I waited a bit, little bit to start it up. Gave her some love, let her kind of chill and let her relax. Once she had kind of relaxed and gotten used to being inside the truck, then I started the truck because <clears throat> it is loud. And... She was fine with that. Um, got a little startled at first because it's so loud. But, um, you know, I didn't pet her immediately. And I think that's a really important thing is, is like, I'm not petting the fear. I wait until the fear has kind of climaxed and then has started to kind of come down a little bit. Where she's like, well, she's not necessarily comfortable. But she's like, you know, not necessarily in escape mode. And then I pet her. And I didn't pet her as a way of trying to make the fear go away. I pet her as in just like, you know, I'm petting you because we're spending time together. Um, when we went to Lowe's, there were a couple times where she tried to put the brakes on. But I fixed my collar placement, moved her right along, and she was fine. Um, she did allow people to pet her and touch her. Um, like I said, a little bit of hesitancy, but she did allow people to do it. And then as the longer we were there, um, woohoo, girly, um, then she just started to come out of it and was, you know, good. Um, I took her over to Reese's house and she was very, um, affectionate with Reese. She was very trusting. She let Reese gate her. She let Reese stack her out. Um, and I spent time with our new boy over there. I believe we're naming him Anakin. Um, our, our Formentino boy. I should have done a video for you guys, but I was lazy. Kona, what you doing? Hey, Kona. <laughs> come here, girl. Let's come this way. Come on, baby girl. Come on, girl. She went outside the... Good girl. Yes. Go, baby. You're a funny girl. You're a funny girl. You're f you you keep rubbing your booty on me. I'm not a towel. Good baby girl. Good baby girl. Go Whoa. There's a little young one that's like, you shall pet no one but me. Here's your sweet baby. Who's your sweet baby? You see well, come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're a good baby. So this is the only the second time that I've had. Oh, watch out now. Um Oh, she's like, quit chewing on me. She's like, quit knocking into me. She got mad at him. God, Kubrick has really put on some weight, you guys. Since we switched their food, um, this food is better. And um, you can tell, man, the dogs are just... We'll be able to feed less of it because... Um, oh, watch out now. Kubrick, be gentle. 
Poor girl. Come here, baby girl. Come here. Yes. Come here. You. <clears throat> you quit, or I'll put you in submissive posture. Poor baby girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Mama loves you. Shh. Quit being a punk. You. 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 Ah, ah, ah. Don't you jump on me. Don't you jump on me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Um. Yeah, I'll be sure to get some video of him for you guys because he's a he's a joint venture between us. What you doing, Kona? You looking for a place to lay down? You good girl. You <laughs> good girl. Did you get him? Did you get him, Kona? Did you get him? Is he trying to pick on you? He is. He's, he picks on everybody. Everybody lets him. Okay, now. Ah, ah, ah. No. She jumped. Shh. You see how she's doing that nipping thing at me? Shh. She jumped at me and then she tried to do the little nipping thing. Goes to show that she's not a she's not a submissive dog, not a fearful dog. She's more of a dominant dog, but she uses manipulation. Um, she uses multiple ways of manipulation. She'll use fear, playfulness. Um, she's very smart. Very smart girl. Oh, you got her, Gubo. <laughs> You're teaching her a lesson. Anyway, I'm going to get inside and get some coffee, but I just want to share her progress. Kind of share what I'm doing with these two girls, how I'm hanging out with them, what I'm doing, so that you can kind of learn from that, um, these different personalities, and, you know, be able to assimilate dogs into your life as well. Let's go, you guys. So, talk to you later. Bye.